Lord's the 25th, and in nine months we will celebrate the results of that day when Mary said yes, when we celebrate the solemnity of, the, of Christmas. Let us begin by calling to mind, let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you're sent to call the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of our Heavenly Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Today, we will be praying the Gloria and the Creed. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who willed that your word would take on the reality of human, your word would take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever. And ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as an other world, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, it is not enough for you to, to grow weary. Must you also be weary of my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm is, Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come, come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocaust or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here, Here I am, Lord, I come, come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me, to do your will, O oh my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here, Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announce your justice in the vast assembly. I do not restrain my lips as you, O oh Lord, as you, O oh Lord, know. Here, Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Your 
justice I have eaten not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of wolves and goats take away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you do not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, As it is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, Sacrifices and offerings Holocaust and sin offerings, you, you neither desire nor delight in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have men consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The word of God became flesh and made his dwelling among and we saw his glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid. For you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to how can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel left her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There's an interesting expression in English that refers to an individual or to a group, and the expression is all in. That means that that person or that group is all in when he or she makes a firm commitment to somebody or to something. 
There's no turning back. They're all in. Today we celebrate the Annunciation. Two lines in the Gospel suggest that Mary did not just suddenly, on the spur of the moment, say yes to God, but that she had already been saying yes to God throughout her life. She was already all in. First, the angel Gabriel says to Mary, The Lord is with you. He doesn't say the Lord will be with you, but the Lord is with you right now, already. And then after hearing the words that she will conceive and bear a son, Mary says, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me as you say. She's already all in. Her words echo what we hear in today's song, and it's words that we should be saying every day. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Today on the Feast of the Annunciation, we celebrate the great trust Mary has. Now, Scripture doesn't say she had no fears, because the angel begins by saying, Do not be afraid. And the scriptures do not say that she was without confusion, as we hear her say, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? Despite whatever fear or confusion she might have had, she knows where she stands. I am the handmaid of the Lord. She's all in. You know, so often in our lives, when somebody asks something of us, we stop and think. How much time will it take? What are the pros and cons? What's in it for me? What's in it if I don't do it? Mary doesn't do this. Since it's from God, she accepts right away. She trusts in God's plan. Now this big yes to God came after many years of little yeses that Mary said to God and to his commands. There was a time tested theory about great virtue, the virtues of faith and hope and trust. To say yes to something calling for a great virtue, we must have said many smaller yeses to God beforehand. Perhaps we can practice these small yeses by following Mary's example of trust. When we're faced with a moment of uncertainty, maybe we could say the words we heard in today's song. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. When we're faced with fear, here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. When we're faced with the unknown or the unexpected, here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. When we practice these yeses and small things, we accept that we are all in. With God. We follow Mary's example of faithfulness and trust, and our yes, together with the Holy Spirit, will, like Mary, help to bring Jesus Christ into the world where He is very much needed today. We now join in the creed, and when we get to the part, and by the Holy Spirit was imparted of the Virgin Mary, today is when it happens, so we genuflect. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. 
For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we continue our Lenten journey, we bring our needs to the Lord with trust and confidence as we make our response, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the church during this Lenten season, may the Lord increase in our hearts for the sharing and self-denial. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who serve either as elected or appointed authorities, May the God of wisdom bless them with the skills and gifts necessary for tr true servant leadership. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick in our community and for those suffering around the world with the coronavirus, may the healing consolation of Christ be upon them and make them whole. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, may they come to share in the fullness of Christ's glory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life, especially here in the Archdiocese of Baltimore, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for a greater appreciation for the sanctity of all human life, from conception to natural death, here and throughout the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, as you once heard the prayers of your Son, Jesus Christ, hear now our prayers and petitions. We make our prayer through Jesus, your Son, who lives with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and all this church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offerings, so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. 
their spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men and for men's sake by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly she bore him in her immaculate womb that the promises to the children of Israel might come about and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to a judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy to shed under, under my roof, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. At this time, I invite you all who are not here to make a spiritual communion. And we've sent a nice little spiritual communion that St. Alphonsus Liguori wrote many, many years ago. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Communion antiphon, behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name will be called Emmanuel. Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived by the Virgin Mary is true God and true man. We may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. On Saturday evening at 5 o'clock, we will be celebrating our weekend liturgy. So join us live stream on Saturday around 4.45 and 5 o'clock Mass. God bless.